episode of Sludge Lords. Let's just start there. You know what I'm saying? There was some shit going on. Adam had on a transgender uh, woman or whatever the case may, may be on his show. And she was alluding to somebody she actually messed with. You know what I'm saying? On a cast of, oh, well, just, you know, somebody she messed with um, at No Jumper. Uh, employee at No Jumper. And, um, I, I really didn't know who she was talking about or what she was got had going on, you know what I'm saying? But it come it came out that it was it was house phone or whatever the case may be. Um but a lot of people ain't feeling that, you know what I'm saying, that, that transition woman was on the show, you feel me, and she got a chance to go on here and try to out, you know what I'm saying, one of all the employees that work um on no jumpers, you know what I'm saying, platform. So how do y'all feel about, you know what I'm saying? That person being able to come over on no jumper platform and you know what I'm saying basically, you know, bad mouth or you know, try to throw a person under the bus, you feel me, without their acknowledgement. I I think regardless of orientation, just busting out anyone's like like hookup sex scene on the pod. It's not really, it's not really donated look. five dollars. Look, Adam is a like snake a trail, look, dope, you know? no AD house phone, and sharp mean to oh, even start your own to, channel. They, they Nobody watches IT because of the house. I don't even try to turn off that, that notification. Uh, but go ahead. Laugh. You know, like, regardless if it, if it was a girl I was hooking up with, and then she tried to out me, regardless if she was trans or not, it's just like keeping, keeping sex shit off the pot is typically a, a good way to do it. You know, like, I wouldn't. I mean, but. No, nah, I'm gonna just keep it G because y'all crazy. Um, <laughs> but I just, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I, I wanted to let Adam and Al's phone, you know what I'm saying, talk and do whatever they got going on. Damn, he gonna have to stop that. I, I know. Tell that I nigga wonder... to stop, huh? You wanna tell him to stop? I mean, it's 412. You want me to tell him to stop? I mean, it's on you. Me or you? That's what I'm saying. You want me to do it or you do it? No, you go do it. I don't wanna walk out there and Do it for me. Matter of fact. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. They can't hear it. I'm trying to get my bathroom done. <laughs> nigga working on our bathroom. He bamming. I don't know if you can hear it. But it's just like, um, me, it was one point, you know what I'm saying? When, when the shit hit the group chat, I just was like, I don't, I didn't, I didn't feel like that person, you know what I'm saying, should have been invited to the platform because I know what that person was, you know what I'm saying, was trying to do. You feel me? I know what that person's intentions was, and I just I just felt like, you know, that was fucked up. You feel me? To, you know what I'm saying? They invite that person to the platform to come speak on a speak on your homie. You know what I mean? Like and your homie ain't you know you ain't there to defend itself and the whole little shit. That's like that was my thing, you know what I'm saying? That was the only thing I probably, you know what I'm saying, had a problem with, you know what I'm saying? Like, But I don't think crazy. that was the intention of the interview. It wasn't to expose anyone. Yeah, It just got brought up. Yeah, basically, we went to AVN the week prior, and Adam met, that, met her over at the convention. We did like a TikTok on her, and she wasn't happy with the TikTok, basically. And so they invited her on because she was like kind of bad-mouthing them. But the... Adam never had any malicious intent to bring her on with the intention of like exposing House Phone or nothing. But once she got the speaking on them, do y'all feel like, all right, well, fuck this interview. I ain't going to put none of this shit out or just keep the interview and we'll, we'll just cut it. So that was the idea, right? Is yeah. at, right, after the, right after the interview ended, Adam calls House Phone and House Phone's like, I want it all out of there. Boom. So we were instructed like multiple times to take it out. And it's still like an hour and a half long interview, minus all the, all the shit we took out. So it's still solid content. Um, but what ended up happening is, um, just one, basically the last two minutes we forgot to censor one of them, and that's the one that got released. So basically, it's just your fault. <laughs> basically, yeah. I I kind of wanted to come on here to clear the air too, cause yeah. uh, I don't know if you guys saw the. Adam on the news today. Yeah. But he, he addressed it, and he had one of our editors, uh, Mikey. And Mikey was basically taking all the blame, but I wanted to say that I do take some of the blame as well because, you know, I kind of run that department and run those team of editors. So when something slips through like that, it's it falls on me too. Yeah. So 